SNES Drunk. Welcome back. SNES Drunk plays. Oh, you just had to leave for the thing to trigger. Okay. Everybody's happy. Yeah, whatever the hell that means. Yeah, what's going on with your head? Yep, that's right. You gotta walk through the seasons. You don't even necessarily have to fight anything. You can just run through. But hey, we got treasures. Cool. Or for a weapon I don't use. And what do we got here? Another orb for a weapon I don't use. Thank you, but no thank you. Not even gonna waste the money upgrading those. Don't even care. At least not yet. Does anybody here say anything? Hey, this guy won't talk to me. Fine. Go piss up a rope. Do you have anything new? No, you don't. Might as well get a fairy walnut, though. Because I do need a couple of those. I foolishly used one back then and wasted magic on that stupid orb thing. Because, folks, sometimes I'm just not very smart. All right, so right now we're in summer. Let's just get past these fuckers, and we're going to want to go back to spring. And just to be sure, we're going to double back to winter real quick. Um, might as well finish these guys off. Die already. Thank you. Thank you for accommodating my request. These are the guys that are freaking hardcore. I hate these things. Yeah, they do all sorts of weird shit like that. Freaking magic crabs? Are you kidding me? Ah, we're freaking covered in rabbits. Anyway, uh, there is a lot of trivia, very interesting trivia, about um, the development of Secret of Mana I was reading about a while back. Um, because of the, the news that somebody actually has a supposedly genuine Super Nintendo with a CD add-on. I guess it's a Super Famicom with a CD add-on. Let's go back to winter, drive back to spring, just to be sure. So we want to go spring, summer, fall, winter, and then back to spring, and that'll unlock something or other. Anyway, um, yeah, Secret of Mana was originally going to be the first, uh, or not the first, but uh, pretty much a launch title for that uh, CD add-on. Um, and as you as most people know, the add-on was going to be developed by Sony. But since Nintendo was still stuck in their old business practices in the 80s where they wanted, well, you know, all control and all the freaking profits and revenue and just, you know, it, they were, their, their demands were pretty ridiculous. They, it's interesting to read about back in the day. There's a book called Game Over. Um, I have it opening this I'll look yeah, it's called game over press start to continue it's written by David chef it goes into a lot of the unorthodox business practices that uh, Nintendo did uh, back in the 80s for the original Nintendo it's normal for Japanese companies to operate that way but not for American companies where they said pretty much would say to Capcom and to Whoever, you can only develop games for us. If you go anywhere else, fuck you, you're never making games for us again. And that worked. And it worked well because no other system sold even 25% as well, in the United States anyway, as Nintendo did. That's where the money was. So they could get away with doing stuff like that. But they pushed their hand, they pushed their luck, uh, overplayed their hand, I should say with Sony, with the Sony deal. The Sony pretty much said, no, fuck you, we, we don't like the terms of agreement here, so the whole thing fell through, and of course that's what led to the development of PlayStation. Ah, fuck. That's no fun. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so they decided with Secret of Mana, well, we're gonna have to completely retool this game, you know, we, we still wanna do it, but we have to, uh, yeah, we have to retool it. Yeah, here's fall. Everything's kind of dead looking. Wish they would have spruced up the colors a bit here. You know, if you're going to have spring bright pink, you got to have some red in the trees here. I mean, you see a couple leaves there. 
Red, orange, yellow. Come on, game. Anyway, um, yeah, and that also, the, the strange, um, translation here. Uh, or I should say, not translation, but the lack of text in this game. Uh, I saw a thing with Ted Woolsey where he talked about how translating this game was a bitch. It was probably the hardest he ever had to do because it, everything had to be scaled back so much. Uh, I forget what, how he described it. Um, it was like shuffling a novel or something like that. Like it was, because there was so much text and so much more to the story, but they're just, the way that, I guess it had something to do with the font, or, uh, I guess, yeah, space limitations with the font is what I remember. I'm trying to think. And, uh, so yeah, that's why the, the text in this game is so bare bones. It's like really, really limited and that's that's a shame because they really could have told um a really cool story here i guess the you know the, the idea was oh we're gonna um you know we'll have all the room in the world we'll have all this extra room on the cd that but uh converting it back to a cartridge game with limited space and limited text space especially was like well we can't uh, you know we're gonna have to cut this up pretty good Another thing was that uh, um, Secret of Mana and Chrono Trigger are also pretty closely entwined, where I guess when they heard that the CD-ROM thing was going to be happening, they wanted to, the, the developers at the, of this game that worked for um, Square at the time, uh, had an agreement with uh, Akira Toriyama, who of course is the Dragon Ball Z guy, artist. And of course, ended up. Uh, well, he uh, when when the CD thing fell through, they said, "Oh, we'll we'll work again on something else." And that eventually, the something else eventually became Chrono Trigger, which is kind of neat. What just happened? I is this gonna wear off? Speaking of tiny Elvis, it's tiny drunk. Hey, I got hit by that. That's not cool. This looks ridiculous. I think I, it's not wearing off. I think you you have to take a fucking herb to uh, get rid of that shit. That's annoying. I wasn't paying attention with it. I'll, no, that was the tre that was the treasure chest. Okay, no more treasure chests. Yeah, I think I've gained like three levels since I I freaking uh, started this part. Anyway, we're back in winter. All we gotta do is go. Ah, I hate that thing. All we gotta do is go down to spring. That'll unlock something or other, and uh, we'll be able to move on with the game. Die. Oh god, come on with this respawning. All right, let's just. Is there anything else up here? Let's take care of this fucker. Should be easy enough. Look how owls out here are drawn like they're, uh, I should probably take a candy. They're drawn like they're, they should be on, like, Mr. Rogers or something. Like, Land of Make-Believe. It looks like the, I don't know why, but it reminds me of the owl that lives next to, what's her name? I can't remember. My mind's all over the place. <sighs> Yep, there we go. That was from the right, huh? Hmm. This must be in the summer section, and it must be back in the village, if I had to guess. Let's keep fighting stuff, because we're doing good with uh, leveling up, and our health is doing really good, too. So, this thing still isn't dead? Come on. Oh, come on with this curing nonsense. There we go. I'm already sick of this music. <laughs> Man, I'm tired. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break after this uh, section. See, I'm already up to level 18. I think I came into this section at level 15. I've gone up three levels. I'm not opening that treasure chest. Fuck you. Out of the way, rabbit face. There we go. Alright. 
Let's fight these guys, because it's fun. Her facial expressions amuse me greatly. Alright, we'll see what has been unlocked next time. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day, please.